the challenge we have is how we see ourselves as a chassid and how what means to have fun. For many people, these are compartmentalized two different realities. Being a chassid is like a chore, a responsibility, and therefore has nothing to do with having fun. So we have to recalibrate how we see ourselves as a chassid. What does it mean to be a chassid? And what it means to have fun. Now for many people, having fun means simply indulging whatever they want to do. The whole point of chassidus is to teach you that the objective of what gives you fun should be something of a higher caliber. Children playing on the floor with toys, they're very, very much fun. They're having fun, they're enjoying themselves. Then they get a little older, and it's no longer toys. They, they read books. They do other things, sports. They get a little older, and then money, maybe. Chassidus doesn't tell you don't have fun. It tells you what the object of your fun should be is spiritual aspiration. The greater the chassid, the more fun he's having. However, you have to redefine what it means to be a chassid and what it means to have fun. As again, most people see Judaism and Chassidus as being some type of religious obligation. They don't see it integrated with their own um, self-actualization. So, And their fun is very much about whatever leisure it is. Chassidus demands work. Not just fun, the easy, lazy type of fun. It demands work and it tells you, when you put the work in, that spiritual satisfaction will give you a lot more in return than any fun you could have in the world. But that takes effort. We tend to gravitate to the lowest common denominator. Whatever fun means, whatever I want to do, I can do. You have to recognize that your soul's real simcha is not from whatever you want to do, you can do. And this brings us also to the discussion of our identity. Our identity is one and the same as serving God. Not serving God as some type of object and not have an identity. Because remember, at the end of the day, like we spoke about the Baal Shem Tov before, if every leaf turning over is a purpose, you, the choice of you being here on this earth is also have a purpose. 